Hi, I'm Joshua from SharePad. In this video, let's have a look at the chat feature. To turn on chat, click on the toggle button at the top of SharePad. Clicking on the button again will turn chat off. Alternatively, we can click on the options cogwheel and then click on toggle chat window. When you first open chat, it'll appear on the left hand side. We can resize this by hovering in the middle and click and dragging. We can change which side it appears on by clicking on chat here and then on design. And then next to chat position, change this to a right side panel. As you may have noticed there, if we head back into design, we can also view this as a floating window if on a desktop browser. If I click OK, you'll see that chat opens up in a new window that can be moved about anywhere. This is especially useful for people with more than one monitor because it can be moved to a second display. You can get notifications on when new messages are posted to the current chat room. To turn these on, click on chat at the top and then on new message notification. Here we can choose to play one of the sound options or to speak text and to receive email or alert notifications whenever we get a reply. So if I turn these on to always and always and then let's change this to accord and then click OK. When you post a message in chat, your chosen name and icon appear next to your message. You can update these by clicking on chat and then change name slash icon here. Most active chat rooms, as you can see, are going to be share chat and support. And if you do have any questions, just post them in support and a member of our team will be able to help. There's also rooms for specific shares, such as Hotel Chocolat, which I'm viewing now. Additionally, there's rooms created by your fellow investors. To find these, click on chat and then find your favourite chat rooms here. We can scroll through all of the chat rooms available. And if we click on the eye icon, we're taken to that chat room straight away. If I head back, we can also favourite some of these, such as Maynard's financial charts and retail shares, for example. These will then appear under the My Favourites tab here. We can even see that the number of people in this chat room is one. To create a new chat room, click on chat and then create a chat room. Here we can choose a room name, such as Joshua's room, then click on OK and confirm. Here we can see my new chat room. In a moment I'll be joined by one of my colleagues who's about to say hi. We can see this message by clicking up here. We can post a standard message reply by typing in at the bottom and pressing enter. But we could also click on a message to specifically reply to them. When replying to a message you'll see that it will also show you the original message and will highlight this, which is especially useful for more active chat rooms. We can change whether the original message is shown above or below the reply by clicking on chat at the top, design, and then at the top we can change if the reply is above the original message or below. We can see that my earlier reply has been adjusted. If we head back into chat design one last time, we can change the colour theme from classic to dark mode, which is my personal preference. A cool trick is that you can share your charts with your fellow investors in a chat room. To do this, click on sharing above a chart and then on post chart to current chat. We could change the title and then click OK. We can see this has now appeared in the chat room. If my colleague wanted to see a copy of this, they could click on the download button here. We can also do something similar and share list to chat. So if I go to my funds portfolio here, we can click sharing and post portfolio to current chat. Again, we could change the name and then click OK. Once again, this becomes downloadable. We can also do this with filters. Click on filter above a list and then on apply filter. I'm going to select 10 year highs here and then click OK. We can then click sharing and post filter to current chat. And now this is also downloadable. Become a better investor with SharePad and discover the advantage. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more quick tips, features and tutorials.